Okay, tennis fans, and those it should be, let's check out the serve, all right? The serve, there's a few different ways, there's quite a few different serves, <laughs> all right? So I'm just gonna go for a flat serve with a continental grip. V on the ridge on the left here, the bevel there, okay, but you can see, you can see that close up. Continental, you should know that by now, continental, all right? Eastern forehand down the middle. Alright, semi western, full western, don't go to full western, it's difficult. Eastern backhand, knuckle on top. Alright, turning like that. Okay, all the grips. Okay, so for a, just a general flattish type serve, which is, there's probably no such thing as a completely flat serve that doesn't rotate. I'll just turn that up a little bit. Uh, so you can see the toss as well. Um, but, normally has a bit of side spin on it as well. Okay, so it's a basic serve. I'm talking singles court at the moment from here. Always warm up, of course. All right, warm the shoulders up. Hit a few against the fence. All right, hit a few against the fence. Whoops, careful, it's here. Back on that. Just relax. That way, you're not worrying if they go in or not, just particularly when warming up. Got my friend Kenj Kenjo to return the serve. You know, turn some serves, but uh, I'm not gonna play it out. I'm just gonna practice this to show you the service action. All right, so from here, nice fluid action, point the ball with the Hold it, not in the fingertips, in the fingers. I like to hold it in the thumb there and the three fingers there. This one does kind of misses out, but it's okay. If you have that there, that's fine. It's much better to have your hand, isn't it? All right, so from here, nice smooth action. All right, just up. Okay, nice and easy. Forward, lean back. Get that trophy position and up. Okay, that toss is a bit low, then a bit higher. There we go, and lean into it. I like to lean into my serve because I like to serve volley. All right? Now you can, of course, bend your elbow, bend the knee, and jump on that left foot and continue in or stay back. Depending if you serve volley or baseline. Gotta learn to serve volley either way. Very, very important. I don't mean to do all the time, it's just it's giving us a surprise and seeing this double definitely so that smooth. Drag up and through. Alright, so I'm going to into the court. Alright, so I'll just bring that a little bit further over. And then we go into the court. Lean forward, I'm assuming a leaning action, alright? Middle. Smooth. Relax it up and reach. Now, as I said, on the ground strokes and volleys, you keep your head down, but on the serve and smashes, you keep your head up. And the elbow bend's important. Not low, and you can't really do that either. Not too high, <laughs> because that's the wrong way, right? It's meant to be a trophy position from here. Bend the knee and up. All right, so from here, it's meant to be up slowly. Not the old days used to try and teach us just like that, does it? No, no like back together, up together, no, don't do that. Just from here, trophy position, lean back. I said, uh, the back leg, and the, what I call that trophy position. <laughs> we had trophies in our club champs and all that stuff, that's the normal one you get. <laughs> Tournaments. Through. All right. Okay, here we go. Reaching up, reaching up at the ball. And in. So the previous one was my toss was a little bit too low. That one was fine. So you've got to adjust it. Adjust, that's how you learn. You adjust it. Don't get upset. Just, just think, okay, what I should what should have I done? And picture it in your mind. And go, okay, oh, you practice your toss. Oh yeah, should have been more in front, further back. Analyze it. Quick analyzation between points. Lean in. There we go. Okay, leaning up, stretching up. Let's get right in. I'm a leaner. I tend to get back and lean and come forward. I'm not a huge knee bender at my age. And double knee reconstructions, no cartilages. <laughs> That's why I have to be a bit careful. But uh, all that martial arts and tennis over the years has taken its toll. But I'm okay, I feel all right. But just, uh, it's more lower backs to the issue, but that's all right. So, um, but it bend, you know, bend down, something to bend. When you bend, you, you bend when this bends. And then you propel up, and then land on your left foot. You know, whatever suits you, don't, 
when you feel comfortable, if it's working, if they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Getting some good pace, I'm getting some good slice, like a natural slice from there as well. Natural, like a, you know, put a spin on it. Bring it in. I'm just doing it, so I'm doing a flat serve, okay? Technically, it's a flat serve. I'll show you a slice in a minute. Here, leaning up, up, and keep the hand up, yep. All right. Back, leaning, and I'll lean into the court, because I like to serve volley, so I like to come in. All right? Particularly my first serve. Oh. Don't tell my future opponents Trying to get to Croatia and play my over 55s event in uh, June. So don't tell my opponents, don't show this video, they'll know what I'm doing. They'll be on clay, but I'm, I'm still good. Yannick Noah did it at the French Open back in the early 80s. <laughs> serve volley. I wouldn't serve volley in every serve, but I definitely do it my first serve, no matter what surface I'm playing. That's just me. You can do it if you want, but you know, I just like serve volley. The Australian way, of course. We're known to serve volley back in the, the old days when it was like grass courts, you know. Up, through, and up, and hell in. Also, if you're going to serve volley, you know, I'm going to find up, excited. You want to get in quick. You got to run quickly, split step for your first volley, then continue in. Okay? Very important. You don't want to get caught in down here, service line, I think, you know. Even though Ken's returning, I'm not going all the way in. I'm just showing you so I can show the action of the serve. So there's a flat, nice and easy. Oh, see that was a toss, so I'll do it again. I just rolled out a bit. There we go, good. Now, slice. Slice. My dog stops barking, that'd be good. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't normally take it to lessons, but uh, this is a friend of mine, so we're just doing video, but it's okay. And I get her out and have a, she has a bit of a run. But I have got to tie it up for this video. I just chasing the balls all the time. You know, keep quiet. You can do a five job. Now, the slice, some people say I use continental, I like, or backhand grip, I like backhand grip. Eastern backhand grip, it's technically called. Hasn't changed since 40 odd years ago. All right, so for here. Now, technically, you get it, I, I, you technically, when you're learning, you probably get it more to the right, when you're learning it particularly. It's more to the right, and come around at three o'clock. You don't get a lot of pace at three o'clock, so later on, you may even go to one or two o'clock there, and you'll probably get more pace on the ball. But initially, when you're learning, you think of the clock, three o'clock is lower, but it's just a nice slice around. Pull the person off the court or into their body. I'm, I'm serving from the uh, juice court, or the forehand side court, either way. Uh, so I'd be going out wide with his forehand, he's right handed. All right, or into his body. Here we go. <laughs> that coming around so I've got my backhand grip and I'm trying now because I'm an advanced player obviously and coach I like to try and do everything from the same toss if possible particularly if I'm serve volleying because so I can pull myself into the court right I'll show you the difference here so I could go from here one to two o'clock on the slice when you're learning maybe three but as, as time goes on one to two o'clock away we go Okay, so there's your slice. And initially, you do probably get it a little bit more to the right when you're first learning, because it's easy to get more slice on it. But later, if you can get around and really rip through it, you know, you can still get a lot of pace and coming in behind it, which I'm doing. Now, kick serve or top spin serve. Now, technically, again, eastern backhand grip, it is above your head, right? And you get kicking like that. So I got a good kick out of that one, for example. Above my head, and I cut back. Right? That's fine. That's the second serve. No, most people do the second serve to play safe, but then you still accelerate up from seven o'clock to one o'clock. Seven to one. Or, again, when you're a little bit more advanced, eight till two. What if you feel, you know, that kind of action from here. There's a bit of a light in the background you can see as well, but I feel my stuff filming more today, I think. <laughs> you get the idea. All right, so from here. So I might change the camera a bit. Yeah, I'll change it from the front now. Because then there won't be a light behind you. But you got the idea of that side action. Now I'll do it from the front, okay? There we go. 
that'll work. Unless you hit the ball, which you did before once. <laughs> it knocks the camera off. Now let's do it again. From here, I'm gonna do my flat. Yeah, happy with that. Good return. Boom. <laughs> All right. Okay, from here again, flat with the, with the uh, continental grip. Leaning in and, whoops, I'm not happy with that toss. I think it would have been too quick then. Just slow that left arm down a little bit. Up, oh, there it is. No problem. Good, happy with that. Getting some good pace, gonna get good body weight behind it. And I'm rocking into it, leaning, leaning into it. I'm really trying to get it, because I'm a serve volley. There's one there, there you go. Drop that one, cool. I'm not going all the way in for the sake of the video, but I'm gonna show you. Okay, so now, back to the slice. See if we can notice the difference. I'm trying to toss the same position, because there's advanced players. This, as I said, three o'clock for beginner. You know, just up to the, slightly to the right, when you get more advanced, more one to two o'clock. Keto, the dogs are excited. One to two o'clock and with the same toss if you can. The opponent may not know what they're doing. Hopefully. Yeah, I'm in. There it is, there you go, got it. Gave you a thumbs up for big ace out wide. <laughs> Here we go again, leaning in. Whoops, not happy with that toss. I'm allowed to do that again. Up, oh, there it is, bam. Happy with that. All right, here we go again. So, rocking action. Now, as I said, other players with good knees, <laughs> and maybe 30 years younger than me, <laughs> come back and bend their knee more as they're bending their elbow. And then they propel up, they slide up, and then jump onto that left foot. Okay, so from there, that's up to you. To what, whatever you prefer. But I'm a serve volley, so I, I really like to lean in and then get that right foot going and then coming in from there. All right? That seems to work for me, but it's whatever works for you. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, here we go again, slice. Oh, there it is, out wide again. Yeah, got him out wide again. He's happy with that. Now I'll go into his body. There you go. That went into his body. Again, leaning, leaning. Up, up, up. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Boom. Up, stretch up. There we go. So. I'm trying to get, now as a beginner, as I said, we might get more to the right, do three o'clock. We won't get as much pace. Now as you get more advanced, go one to two o'clock and you'll get more pace. Coming around that way and then reach up even further around the ball this way. Don't think about wrist snapping. It's called pronation. <laughs> It'll come naturally, just pronate there. But if you think too much about too much, too many things at once will confuse you. It'll come naturally. And you notice I'm coming out and across naturally as well. All right? Not straight down here, the make the leg it comes out. Particularly the kick serves, which I'll do now. You see come out more and across. Top spin serve, kick serve, same thing. Same but different. Now I'll start the kick serve as we normally taught with the obviously big backhand grip. Nice, easy backhand grip so you get more spin. Of course, when you're first learning this, you'll spray a few. <laughs> okay, that's normal. All right, good, mistime it and that. Cause you're, leading with that edge of the racket, you've got to get that, you know, get that strings, those strings on there. So normally it'd be above the head or to the left. And that, that's it. Now, if I'm staying back, I'm happy with that. If I'm staying back for a rally, um, but I, I don't like doing that. I like serve volley, particularly in doubles, I'll come in on both. All right, so, so that's, again, it's up to you. So again, up. Now I can even do a slower kick, there you go. That worked well. Back to me, balls in my hand. <laughs> Here we go. Up, bend the lip, and cross. So coming out and across naturally. There's another way of doing it. By the way, cool. ah, you Americans, my American friends. American twist. Just like you used to call Australian, Australian formation tandem and a whole bunch of other things. <laughs> the American twist, watch this. Oh yeah, got him in the middle of that one. <laughs> right? <laughs> don't bang your knee though, don't do that all. Do it out there and across. Or do it way over here, don't go whack. That will hurt. Here we go. American twist, there we go. Coming down this way. Oops, not happy with the toss. So I'll do it again, very important to control that. And think about it as a release. Don't even like the word toss. There we go, bullseye. I was wondering what that was going to happen. <laughs> all right.